Well, this is some pretty good breakfast at the bar and grill. Well, I guess it's time to go back to the shop and get everything prepared here. We're back on the lawn care landscape series. I'm probably just going to call it the business series because we're going to be doing a lot of businesses like obviously lawn care and landscape and construction. So it makes sense to be just the business series. Heading back over to the shop here. I got two brand new signs custom made here and once I get out and stop the truck. Oh, uh, but yeah, um, got two brand new signs custom made America's lawn care, land, lawn care and landscaping. I gotta tell you, when I first did the logo and put it on the sign, for some reason it just kept crashing my game, but I gotta figure it out I'm working. Two brand new signs custom ordered and already put in the ground. Yeah, I got a new truck is because I traded the Dolby Silverado, my personal truck. For this truck, it has our uh, dot DOT numbers on it. It'll be putting the logo on it as well. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I really like how it looks without the logo. But yeah, I think it'd be cooler to have the logo on the truck as well. Ended up trading my truck in for this one, and I think it turned out to be amazing. This truck's very beautiful, custom made, you know, whatever. Obviously, I put a pretty penny on it as well. Go ahead and get everything ready because we're going to be going over and looking at property that I'm going to be buying here. So, all I really need is I'm going to be taking this. John Deere uh, subcompact tractor 3046R and I got a different bucket on it because this one's a little bit bigger than the actual John Deere bucket so yeah I don't think I need anything else but this so I'll come in extra handy I haven't really looked at the property just looked at it online there's gonna be a lot of work that needs done to it I can tell you that much right now the property we're gonna be looking at it's an abandoned gas station I'm so sorry oh my god but yeah, it's an abandoned gas station. It's not that far of a drive. Filling up the road a little bit past the bridge. There's only two gas stations in this town. So I figured why not just try and buy this one and fix it up. Either turn around for a profit. Make something out of it for myself to have another business. I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comment section below if I should if i'm if i do buy it, if i should keep it or sell it for a profit uh because as it stands i'm going to be buying this whole property for 150k in our gas stations right here when i talked to the guy over the phone he told me not to go inside anything right now talk about business i might get a little bit cheaper but 150k for the whole gas station is not bad i mean these pumps obviously look outdated this is a very old gas station the last time it ran was maybe 40 years ago I mean, it's still in pretty good condition. I can't lie. I'm just kind of scared to see what the inside has to offer here. All of that is not ours. It's not going to be ours. So I ain't got to worry about all that. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and wait for the guy. Oh, there's a shed back there. Yeah, there's a shed back there. I'm not even going to go any further because I don't, I don't want to know what's inside of it right now. Probably nothing uh, if for my luck. But I'm going to go ahead and wait for the guy to show up. I'll catch you guys then. Alrighty, so I we agreed on an offer of $145,000. Still not pretty bad. I would say it's not bad at all. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and unload the subcompact tractor right here. Go ahead and look around the property. You know it's going to need mode and etc. So with that being said, let's go ahead and park the tractor just a little bit over here. Because I might just start around the back and work our way up around front or except or vice versa but uh yeah it looks like a tree fell down probably not too long ago hopefully it didn't do no damage to the shed there I, I see a chain on the door there so let's go ahead and get my bolt cutters here all right got my bolt cutters all right let's go ahead and get this uh cut open here it looks like i can see like a couple things in there i'm not sure but let me go ahead and get this cut open here there we go Go ahead and push these open here. Let's go ahead and take a look and oh ho ho ho. Oh, we just hit the jackpot on this one, guys. We got a, looks like a, what a, what is this? International lawnmower. Looks pretty good. Besides a little bit of rust and paint pail in there. We got a replica generally. Oh my goodness here. This one looks clean. Looks like it wasn't parked just too long ago. I don't I don't know. Man, this is nice. Why would they put a mattress on top of it beyond me? I don't know. Um, we gotta get rid of some of this stuff before we can get these out of here. Let me just uh... Oh ho ho ho. 
Yo, this interior looks pretty, really good. I doubt it would start. I'm not even gonna try. Ignore that for now and just get started on the property here. Yeah, I'll probably just cut the front yard for now. Gotta take that four style sign out too. There we go. All right, now we can get started on the time lapse here. All right, had a little bit of troubles with the mower deck, but anyways, all right, time lapse starting now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the time lapse. Now, why is it not cutting? All right, let me go ahead and get this time lapse started for you guys. Alrighty, well I'm halfway done and I uh, seen something over there hiding in the bushes. It kind of looks like a semi but it kind of doesn't at the same time. So, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and shut this off real quick and see what is over here. Let's see, let's see. Oh my, it is. It is a semi. We, we definitely didn't. Definitely did not disappoint when we're when I bought this place. So yeah, we we could definitely make a profit. This let's see what the motor looks like. Is this so good? That that motor is actually definitely pretty good. What sports sale sign? Huh. This is an older semi, by the way. This is actually pretty nice. Uh, not that bad of a condition. Could be a lot worse. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that alone for now. Figure out how I'm going to pull that around, and the generally looks like it's might not be able to start i don't know i, I know the battery is pretty strong in this uh, compact tractor here so i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the grass and then i'll be back with you guys shortly yeah i ain't here to try to change your mind trying to save your time in case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list girl you can skip this funny business because up there it's complicated Understand it, that's all right by me. I got everything that I need. The fairies break neck, paycheck, rat race. What's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond. I think I'll go back where I came from. Everybody knows my name. All my friends are still the same. I guess the slow. All right, and as you guys can see, it got all the grass cut. I had waste management come in, paid them like 500 to 1,000 to get everything cleaned up. Took the cars and uh, the old tractor to the scrap yard there. I, I still gotta get these cars out of here. It's been like a week since I actually been here, so. Now there's probably gonna be like an episode two because for this whole gas, this whole building here, and the gas pumps are gonna have to get torn down and replaced. There will be an episode two, like the whole inside is crumbling on itself inside. The outside looks pretty okay, but I don't wanna, if I'm gonna sell it to somebody else or reopen the gas station to the public, I, I don't wanna have no like, safety issues in that. So I, I don't know for sure. I might keep this car here, but I know this one, if I can get it cleaned up, fixed up, you know, it running again, I, I can make a pretty good profit out of it. Like, um, I, I don't even know what these things would go for. I would say I could probably get at least like 100K to, to about like 200,000 out of it. I might keep this international for myself because it would be nice to have like a smaller lawnmower. Uh, the Peterbilt, I might fix up and sell or just sell as is and just take the money and walk away from it. I know it doesn't seem like an issue with the motor and that. None of these vehicles started besides the T-Bird. That, that's the only vehicle that actually started was the... Uh, uh, Trans Am. I, I just don't want to have a deal with a headache here. I got to get these vehicles out of here. So yeah, like I said, there's going to be an episode two of rebuilding the gas station as well. If you guys would like to see that, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm going to go ahead and get them cars onto my trailer or at least one by one. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio.